Going to the grocery store may be a mundane part of some people's lives. However, many people of low socioeconomic statuses often struggle to get affordable, nutritious food. You've probably heard of food deserts. They're typically impoverished areas where it's difficult to buy affordable or good quality fresh food. While some lack access to healthy food, others may not be able to afford it and instead survive on cheap, high-calorie meals from food chains that prioritize cost over quality. Science fiction often posits warnings or ideals for the future, providing a whole genre of possible solutions. We see two different but equally extreme approaches. Star Trek presents the magical replicator. While the Matrix introduces its own version of fast food, tasteless mush. Here you go, buddy. Breakfast of champions. Neither of these paths are ideal as they ignore the problem of sustainability or they leave the food flavorless and demoralizing. 3D printing may be a solution that can combine the trifecta of food production, nutrition, accessibility, and flavor. More pessimistic works of science fiction show societies desperately trying to find food that is cheap, accessible, and provides the bare minimum of nutrition humans need to survive. While devoting technology to quick, mass-produced vessels of calories might give humans cheaper ways to access necessary nutrients, the loss of individuality, culture, and taste can have a significant impact on human psychology. In some extreme futures, such as that of Soylent Green, the focus on easily produced food becomes so intense that humanity is literally sacrificed. In this world, corporations desperate to provide more food create Soylent Green out of the deceased. They're making our food out of people. Next thing they'll be breeding us like cattle. You tell everybody? Listen to me, Hatcher. You gotta tell them Soylent Green is people! Science fiction that depicts futures of mush sacrifices humanity for price and ease, addressing one problem but failing to create a truly sustainable world. Other science fiction and fantasy works tend towards the other extreme. Optimistic works such as Star Trek or even childhood favorites like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory envision a future where flavorful food reigns supreme. These worlds enjoy technology that facilitates the creation of any food imaginable, which seems utopic on the surface and does address the humanitarian concerns that mush-focused futures fail to, but they sacrifice the necessary component of accessibility. Can such extravagance ever be practical for lower-income groups that currently struggle to even get fresh produce and instead rely on cheap, fast-food meals? Clearly, this option does not represent sustainability either. One technology may be able to reconcile these two extremes, the 3D printing of tasty, realistic food. This technology has experienced a boom in funding and innovation, leading to applications beyond the original use of plastic models. Printers are becoming kitchens, churning out everything from pizzas to pastries. As extruders, the depositors of ingredients, become more and more advanced, the possibilities for 3D printed cuisine are expanding rapidly. Originally, 3D printed food was confined to confectionaries, as melted chocolate or powdered sugars were versatile inks. Now, hydrochloride suspensions, aka mush, of proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids allow for a broader variety of recipes and printing mediums that still resemble real food. A study in food bioprocess technology describes a way to use alternative ingredients extracted from algae, fungi, seaweed, lupine, and insects as novel sources for protein and fiber. These ingredients are not only rich in essential nutrients, but also have a low cost and a small carbon footprint, and can be used to produce familiar foods that retain taste and cultural relevance. Affordable, versatile ingredients create greater access to quality food. Food waste, which currently drives up food prices, could also be used as one of these alternative ingredients. Instead of being eliminated as waste, food that is not considered desirable by supermarkets or brands can be repurposed making this food production cheaper and again more accessible to lower income groups without sacrificing the familiar quality of delicious cuisine. This type of food production serves some of the same functions as the mush jumped up in science fiction futures, but addresses our previous concerns by retaining flavor and familiarity. Today, 3D printing may primarily involve silicon and plastic, but if our society devotes resources to improving this technology, a sustainable future of household 3D printers is in sight. While science fiction serves as a warning against extremes, we can use ideas from stories like Soylent Green and Star Trek to combine dystopic mush and impractical replicators into accessible, sustainable, and quality 3D printed cuisine.